Hello, and welcome, to Not The Fake News. If you find value, in this video, please like and subscribe. But due to the current state of the world, the most important thing you can do, is share the information you find here today. Videos like this are open to attack, and can be, buried, blocked, or banned, at any time. So it's our duty to share this information and raise awareness to as many people as we can. Now, let's dive right in. Washington field office, James Dawson, who you'll be hearing from in a minute. We have what I believe is a significant law enforcement announcement to make today. Starting in the wee hours of this morning, the brave men and women in law enforcement effectuated the arrest of 10 MS-13 members or close associates thereof who stand charged with the sex trafficking of a minor under the age of 14. One of the alleged gang members Carlos Villatoro, an 11th defendant, is charged with violent crimes in aid of racketeering. Let me make clear, these individuals are charged with heinous offenses, but just like any other defendant, they're entitled to and deserve the presumption of innocence until they're proven otherwise. Combating human trafficking has been a priority for this office for over a decade. Specifically targeting gang-controlled sex trafficking is something that I dedicated almost three years of my life to as an assistant United States attorney in this district and in the courtrooms just behind us. In that vein, I want to speak with you today to ensure that our community has continued awareness about what is happening within our district and to make clear that we will not stop investigating or combating the scourge of modern-day slavery. Unfortunately, the work I started almost a decade ago with the first prosecution of an MS-13 member for sex trafficking continues today. Here are some of the heart-wrenching facts as alleged in the criminal complaint. And again, I want to be clear, these are allegations at this point. One of the victims in this case was 13 years old. Let me repeat that, 13 years old, when she was sexually trafficked to paying pedophiles sexually assaulted repeatedly by gang members and beaten with a metal bat on multiple occasions. Further, due, the, due to the comprehensive nature of this investigation, we have communications between gang members but how they were going to treat this 13-year-old victim. This text message dialogue can be found in the unsealed complaint. And I quote, tell him to come. I'm dying to hit that daughter of a B-I-T-C-H with a baseball bat. A homeboy in El Salvador wants to watch what happens. In another exchange about the minor victim, who is getting the joint, coca, the beer? I will get the little whores. As alleged in this criminal complaint, this 13 year old was plied with marijuana, alcohol, and even cocaine. She was trafficked in apartments, as well as wooded areas behind apartment complexes. This took place in Virginia and Maryland. There's a few more points I want to make about our anti-MS-13 work here in EDVA, but before I do that, I want to offer my deepest thanks to the Fairfax County Police Department, who've been a partner with us against uh, fighting MS-13 for years, along with the Prince William County Police Department, our prosecutors and team here at the Eastern District of Virginia. And a special note of thanks to the FBI, for their incredible work and partnership. And I'd ask that acting assistant director in charge of the Washington field office, Jim Dawson, come forward. Assistant director Dawson. Thank you, Zach. As Zach said, my name is Jim Dawson and I'm the acting assistant director in charge of the Washington field office of the FBI. I'm proud to be here today in concert with Zach to be able to explain to the American people what exactly we do with our time and how we enforce the law. The 11 individuals who are identified in the indictments are, have engaged in reprehensible, entirely reprehensible activity as alleged in the indictments. They took advantage of children. They extorted them for profit. And in this case, they traded minors for drugs and for cash. Along with the United States Attorney's Office here in the Eastern District of Virginia and with surrounding offices, we will continue to do everything that we can to combat violence and to combat the activities of MS-13. MS-13 in Northern Virginia is known to be one of the area's most violent and deadly gangs. They systemically use violence and they initiate and intimidate members through terrible acts that none of us should be willing to accept. 
They do this while targeting the immigrant community. Our goal is to eradicate MS-13 from this area and from the United States. For years, we've been focused upon dismantling gangs and their leadership, putting murderers and criminals behind bars. And today's indictments certainly prove that. Crimes against children will always be a priority to the FBI and to our partners because we're charged with protecting all of America's people, specifically those who are incapable of protecting themselves. And in our work, there is no investigation which is more meaningful than bringing to justice those who harm children. We always think of our victims first, but especially in crimes against children. I'm proud of our relentless work and everything that was done by our agents and analysts and for their dedication and for their time and work in this case. I'd like to thank our many partners who participated in this event, specifically those in Northern Virginia and in Maryland. We're certainly proud of the work that is undertaken by our Child uh, Exploitation and Human Trafficking Task Force, which is out of the Washington Field Office of the FBI. We're also proud of the work which is undertaken by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Virginia. We're grateful for the investigative and tactical assistance which was afforded by the Department of Homeland Security, by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and by Enforcement and Removal Operations. We're also thankful for the work which was performed by the FBI Baltimore, Norfolk, and Richmond Field Offices, along with the Prince George's County Police and the Montgomery County Police. We would not be announcing these arrests today if it were not for a cooperative effort and a collaborative effort undertaken by many law enforcement agencies who are dedicated to protecting the American people. With that, thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more Not the Fake News.